I was chased by a gigantic falcon two nights ago. I thought it was Fergal coming back, but no. Hello everyone, my name is Dane Nuru, and welcome back to Vampire as Dr. Detective Reed. Now a member of the Ascalon Club. Lord Lord Grave. That went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago. Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparrow. I'm listening. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. That is right. Turn. Wait, were, you were you spying, were spying on, me? on me? Not personally. I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed. Until you put an end to his mission. Mm, sounds about right. I, mean, I already kind of asked you these two questions, so I need to know more. Do you, you know, know him? Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in <coughs> conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? Fair enough. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the skulls. Eradicate them? But some skulls are peaceful. I have met peaceful and wise skulls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Skulls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Ekon a bad name. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. So... Oh! Family portraits. Alright. Well then, it's time to do some doctor detective investigating. I want to leave through the back. Doctor Detective Reed, out! Alright. Before I question the citizens. Ooh, I'm loving this music. I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. I mean, it's quite possible. Greetings, lady. Good evening, miss. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. Doctor Dr. Detective Jonathan, Jonathan Reed. I am... I am... Karina Billow. I don't need any doctor. Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No, it's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. I can't stop eating them. Help me, please. Help me to disobey the voice. Oh boy. I'm Local source. investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Infection. Infection. The rats carry it, I heard. Rats. 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 Many rats around that big house. Funny smell, too. Dead flesh. And where is this house? West of the park. Not very far. A, a big house with no sound, no 
light, no life left. Thank you. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Miller. Hmm. Uh, let's see. What are the what are the citizens already liking it? I don't know who the pillar is. Hong Russell, Kiri Nabillo, Kimura Tarao, my mom, Avery. Ooh, this is level four. Only after I complete this game will I eat everyone and then probably start a new game. You there, sir. Sir. Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God. So you survived the war, too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you, either. War does that to men, I heard. True. In my case, it was true. For I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. Yeah. So, before I get to personally know you again... I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. If you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the... the ladies. Yes? What about the Malanies? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Closed doors. What is going on in there? I wonder. Ooh. You need Thank some you. rest, Clarence. You should try to see. Alright. Lady, over here. Good evening, miss. Oh my god, no. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, Lord, no. what? <laughs> Why do you think I would... <coughs> what? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashley. Oh. My mother taught me long ago how to recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young Echons. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. I'm probably gonna have to kill you someday. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullanies. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. I see. Okay, then. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Fair enough. Let's see. Ah, oh, Clarence! Why didn't you tell me you had a headache? Or anything else. I want to find all the citizens and speak to them. Definitely gone a little too far. Ooh, wait, trash. Don't. Nope. Oh. Ooh, hey, bullets too. I sense person in here. Knock, knock, knock. Hello? Is anyone there? Jonathan, is that you? I did not know you were back in London. Oh, my dear Johnny, I'm so sorry for your loss. Mary was such a sweetheart. Thank you, Venus. May I come in? I was going to bed, actually. Oh. <laughs> Let me in! Let me in! Oh, you can spare me a few minutes. For old time's sake. Of course you may enter, Jonathan. I remember when Mary came here with her husband and her son. 
Crossley's house. So that's where, so this is where Clarence lives. I'm a fucking ransack it for all it's worth. Okay, sure, this is what friends do, right? <laughs> My god, that's just a terrible thing. Uh, trust me, it's important. I gotta make sure I'm prepared for, uh, tonight's events. <laughs> Got it. Just inking everything out of it. Pl it's locked, all right. Damn. Good. I now know I can just... Hold on. Hold on a second. Can I... It's a weird door. Okay, then. Miss Crossley! It's a pleasure to see you again, Venus. So you return from the war in one piece, too. Thank God. My Clarence is back home, too. How is the old rascal? Probably outside, chasing ghosts and chimeras. Clarence has changed a lot since he returned from the war, you know. True. Uh, local I'm investigating infection. the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? The McPhersons. I heard they locked themselves in their own house. They could just be afraid of getting sick. Perhaps you're right. But if I were you, I'd pay them a visit. A big house, reachable through a courtyard, to the north of the railway bridge. I see. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now. <clears throat> oh, so I almost forgot something. For your loss, Jonathan. Please, don't be. Alright. Almost got everyone. I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. I'm pretty sure most of them are in the Ascon Clubhouse. Or whatever. Okay, so that was the house. What? Here, God, I'm actually losing trike. Mm, trace. Yeah, that was the house over here. This way, I see Clarence. Going to here, I get to the Ascalon Club. Hello, Karina Billo. For any more, I probably should ask the people in the Ascalon Club. Oh, bless me. Uh. Oh, Lord. There we go. It's gone for now. Okay. Lord Hammersley. Lord Sheffield. Ah, yes, who are you? Reading? Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it feel Aloysius. to be this evening's centerpiece? Figuratively. <coughs> I feel uneasy. It's quite unsettling. As a doctor, I am more used to being the observer than the subject observed. Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, you draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Ah. Vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. Fair enough. They dwarf those of mere mortals. I am Aloysius Dawson, by the way. Huh. You're... Club member, not afraid of vampires. Lord Grave, you're famous! Dawson. Of Dawson and Dawson. The wealthiest man in England. It is a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? 
I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. <coughs> Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. To cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. You know money can't solve everything, money right? Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. Is what it a bomb? is your plan then? Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. It's Donald Trump a in the making. Unscalable wall to isolate the deserving from the infected masses. It's unfair. It's efficient. It's dangerous. I mean, it, it is efficient. But it's also dangerous. By doing so, you would create two separate ghettos. What if the disease gets past the wall? The results would be disastrous. Not if we eliminate all suspected cases of infection as soon as they appear. A necessary sacrifice. Are you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns. Decisiveness is what the city needs, and it needs it now. Oh boy. Lord Hutchinson. So many young Eklons. Ah, I finally meet the pillar head. God, he looks fucked up though. Welcome to the Ascalon. Okay, so if they have the enemy head, then they're really not worth talking to because it's just more. Oh, uh, yeah, well, hi. Gotta keep that in mind, especially since uh, last time I talked to. tried to talk to enemy head characters, it was the Skulls. Huh, but well, that's interesting. A club of Skull. A club of young Ekons. Wonder when I'll meet the club of Valcods. Those British, British Valcods. Okay. Let's see. Need, I now need to go over here. But before anything else. God, where's the where's the way I can teleport in my house? Or can I just walk through the I can just walk through the front door. The Reed Mansion. Hello, mother. All right, time to do some doctoring. I'm out of ergotamines. It can't be the case. I gotta have ergotamine somewhere around here. Damn it. Well, shit. Seems the doctor's just gonna have to go hunting for Urgamine. Ooh, watch. <clears throat> nope. 
Okay. Alright, time to go hunt for Urgatamines. Before I do, i am just got to make sure there's nothing left for me to grab. Miss yep. Reed worries me, Mr. Jones. She sometimes... I'm sure she'll find her way back one day. A temple garden. One on the east and one on the west. I want to check out the one on the west side first. There's a lot of prunes over here. And it seems for me to go that way. I'm going to need to make a nice path. Before I do though. I know it's strong enough. But also like to actually have a. Oh. I would like to have something else. There we go. Alright, here we go. I need to find out what they're on. Nom nom nom. No. Come on now. Nom, 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 nom. So bad. It's locked. There's another beating heart in there. Well, I'm in the right spot. Best be moving on. I don't want to. Die! Shut the hell up! Curse you, man of the cloth! Oh, there! Oh! I need to fill up my blood! Oh! Too close. No, it doesn't! <sighs> Tasty. Getting close to a source. Damn it, I know I sense heartbeats over here. Couldn't have been the enemies, right? Oh, Dr. Detective Reed's always on the case. No time. There's no time to be standing around, Doctor Detective Reed. Ooh, a lot of tasty rats. She wasn't kidding. I have this. 
Don't thirst for blood. Hmm. Need to grab everything that I can. Let's hope this is a new weapon. He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. That is quite terrifying. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. Well then. It's a good thing I could sense some beating hearts down there still. This is about to be a first sign of a boss fight, huh? discuss things with you like a civilized man. Ooh, tiny good handle part. I want to ensure that I check everything around here first. Yeah. You have a beating heart, or you have dead blood running through your body. Here, I'll take that. And shillings. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> You're the only one that's still alive. Family. They mocked my talent. Ah! Okay, calm down, woman. Woman. <laughs> I can know you can teleport. Whoa. <laughs> Shit. Ah! Ah! Would you calm down? There's tits. Ah. You need to calm yourself. Okay. Where are my serums? I need my serums. Shit. No, you don't. I got you in the corner now! Oh god! No! I just realized my health is so low! That was bullshit! Oh boy, I wonder how far back it's gonna throw me. Well, I'm still in the temple garden, so that's a good spot. Oh boy. Oh, just back up here. Did everything. Seeing as how I died, did everything restock it? Oh uh, no. Yeah, nothing. Er, nothing flew. Oh, I missed. Oh no, you know. Okay then. Well, let's go clean the bitch out. I missed a body. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. Hmm. 
Yet, no, everything's already been taken care of. Come on now. You one boosh bag. Just need to heal. Okay. Shit. <sighs> that was just bullshit. And now I have twice the anger to kill her. <laughs> now that I'm down here. Ran out of stamina. Damn it. I thought I had more. Damn it, I'm just dying horrifically to because of the It's mainly because of the garlic bullshit. It's pissing me off. Huh. Shotgun's damage from uh, normal to fire just to have that additional damage to her. Just damn it. Okay, let's try this one last time. She could just coat the screen. Oh, my God. God, this bitch is a fucking pain in the ass. And no, I'm not lowering the goddamn difficulty. Bullshit. I'm not gonna eat people to evolve just to be stronger to fight her. Cause to be fair, I'm like eight levels lower than I should be. <laughs> Calm yourself, woman!
Okay. Let's wait for her to make her approach. Fuck this fighting space. Bad woman! I've never seen such a radical mutation. Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? What a bitch. Great, now there's a large beast over there. Uh, to the Fletcher Acting School. Dear Elsa, it is with great joy I confirm with this letter your acceptance as a private student into my acting school. The little scene you had the kindness to perform for me last week convinced me that you have what it takes to be a real actress. Wit, stature, and courage! As a private student, you'll receive my personal training and coaching. During these intense sessions, you'll be involved invited to stay at school, since I strongly believe in total immersion to expose the full potential of my students. So please, remember to bring night attire and anything you may need to spend a week at my school. Yours sincerely, Doris Fletcher. So, this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. Explains her, uh, her way of trying to show it. All right. I know you're there. Bad boy. I just need you to replenish my blood! No! I'm not upset. I'm not mad. Okay, I'm very upset. I'm very mad. <laughs> bullshit. All levels of bullshit. Okay. Killing that large beast before anything else. Thank God I don't have to do this boss fight again. some shotgun shells. Delightful. Alright. Damn it, I just need to get to my home, miss her. I just like how you just stand there. Well, I'm eating your friend. We cannot be defeated. Back, demon. Back. Wrong way you're facing. Okay, that doesn't feel nice.
Sucks to be you, Primin Man. Okay, just need to get the hell out of here. And by that, I mean get over to where I need to be. Ah! <laughs> All right, where's my home? My home's right here. Cool. Must climb stairs. Oh, hey, that refilled. So they do refill over time. Good to know. All right, workbench. Thick, rich blood. Shit. Okay. Not, not there. Not yet for that. Almost there for that. <clears throat> Does 15 points of stun. Why does it feel like I'm missing a lot of weapons here? Regardless, I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna take a nice rest before I go visit the other places. And I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Consider giving it a like. And I'll see you all next time once I'm done leveling up. Have a good day.